This video is about arthroscopy assisted partial rest fusion. The indications are because of the arthritis of the radiocarpal joint only due to various reasons. And here the radiocarpal joint is fused using the two headless screws. The advantage is it still retains some moment at the wrist and the scar is minimal. This is a image representing the minimal scar. Here is an example of a young male with a pain in the wrist and his X-ray showed radiocarpal arthritis. The cause was not known. The MRI showed a lot of synovitis and extensive damage of the radiocarpal joint alone. Initially, an arthroscopy was done where the synovectomy and biopsy was sent. There was an extensive loss of the articular cartilage at the radiocarpal joint, which was debrided. And subsequently, the midcarpal joint was inspection was done. which showed a good articular cartilage but extensive synovitis of the midcarpal joint as well. Synovectomy was performed and biopsy was sent. So it was concluded that the radiocarpal joint was arthritic where the midcarpal joint predominantly had synovitis without the cause being clear. The blood parameters ESR and CRP were increased and no other tests were confirmatory. Biopsy proved to be chronic non-specific synovitis. In the second stage, which was done subsequently after two weeks after the procedure, the radiocarpal joint was debrided and the residual articular cartilage was curated. Also burr was used to freshen the surface of the, both the radius and the carpus. The focus was primarily on the radius where the scaphoid fossa and the lunate fossa was debrided and the articular surface of the lunate and scaphoid was also debrided. Ensured that the subchondral bone was exposed and petechial bleeding could be confirmed. Traction was released and a good congruent reduction was confirmed. Under the fluoroscopy, two headless screws were passed, stabilizing the wrist joint with a small incision. Postoperately, the x ray showed good position. Two months following the surgery, you could see the scar, and this was the range of movement excellent and a good grip strength, good alignment of the carpus on the wrist. Some of the tips are the ensure that you scope the midcarpal joint adequate bearing of the surfaces. Thank you very much.